Check it out, folks. I'm finna give up the secret to my perfect fried chicken wings. Let's get it. Now look, we're gonna start off like this, right? I'm gonna show you, it's gonna be a few tools that you need, not a whole lot, right? First of all, we're gonna have to have a pot that's deep enough to put our oil in here, and then we gotta figure this part out. In the past, I have made videos where, you know, when I put them out and I'm cooking my fried chicken, when I'm frying it, listen, we wanna submerge it, right? So make sure you get something big enough so when your chicken hits it, it'll cover the whole thing. You know what I mean? Because once we start flipping them back and forth, it'll start creating a soggy, you know, crust, right? Now, this is gonna be the culprit right here. These are my chicken wings. Okay, so look, now we finna get down to the nitty gritty, right? So listen, we're gonna put some buttermilk in here, but one of the things is, when I say the secret is, listen, everything gotta taste good, right? So I got two stations. We got a wet, and then right there, we got a dry, right? But we wanna make sure that each station tastes good, right? So with the buttermilk in, now we gotta talk about the hot sauce, right? Hot sauce also gives us a little bit of color, you know what I mean? But most of all, it gives it a nice little mild bite. Even for those that say they don't like the hot sauce and all of that, cause I'm not a hot sauce fiend like that or a fan, you know what I mean? But I do put the hot sauce inside anything that I'm doing when it comes to my frying, right? So listen, I'm gonna show you some of the popular brands they got right here. Look, you got Frank's Red Hot. Over here, you got Tabasco. Over here, you would bring this. Louisiana, right? <laughs> hey, look, Tapatio. You know what? You, hey, nice. You're trying to bring a little Spanish to this, right? Right, all right, I got you. So listen, I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it general. I know some of y'all will say Tabasco or Louisiana. Don't forget to talk to me down in the comment section below, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'll choose Frank's, right? So we just give it a shake. I'm gonna add some of this in here like this. Now, it's not just this, you know, that we add into it. We wanna add some flavor to it also, right? So I'm gonna take a little bit of this Creole kick, add a little bit of that to it. But now you guys are starting to wonder, I mean, starting to find out why I call it the secret, right? Because if, if you notice, most people, when they make it, they not tasting everything here. And because of all of the products that I use on this channel are really like low sodium products, right? Especially mine, the Creole kick, stuff like that, right? So I give it a couple of pitchers of salt and I go ahead and just whisk this together. I'm gonna take this and these are my wings, right? Ah, I'll leave them open. I wanna take all of those people that have been around, you know, they call me the unk of the uh, internet, right? So all of us unks, pops, <laughs> G-pops and all of that, you see this? How many of y'all remember this? You remember when they used to be like this? All right, so I'm just gonna load these up in the bag. Okay, so I wanna introduce my sous chef to y'all, right? This might help in the kitchen, this my zip quicker. This right here, man, is a must for me. Now, we're just gonna take this and pour it inside of here. So, you see how it looks? I let a little bit of the air out like that, right? Now I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and I'm gonna go at a minimum of 30 minutes. I can do overnight or I can go, you know, about four hours. So it's really up to you. I'm bringing my oil up to temp right now. We at 350. I'm gonna let it rise a little bit higher because I'm coming out of the refrigerator, right? When I come out of the refrigerator, it's gonna be cold. What does that do? In turn, that takes my oil temperature down. These are the keys to having perfect, you know, tasting and the perfect texture on fried chicken, right? So this is my cornstarch. We'll just add that on the top right there. Now, we got a season, folks. This is my A. It's got everything that you need wrapped all up into one bottle right here, right? So we just wanna go ahead and put some in here. I don't wanna hear that, hey, that looked like a lot. Remember, this is a low sodium product. This right here is where we gonna get that flavor from. You know why? How we gonna ensure that? Talk to me, folks. We gotta taste this flour, man, right? And this right here, this that Creole kick, we come back with it like that. This is what's gonna give us a little bit of bite, give us a little bit of that spiciness. And then again, as always, I like to just put a couple of pinches of kosher salt, right? And here we go. Check it out. I'm finna use my pepper grinder right here and I'm finna grind. Now I'm not gonna let y'all watch this this whole time. You know what I mean? Cause listen, when I say grind, I'm finna grind. You can't put too much in here. I'm gonna go ahead and just start taking this. Now it's gonna be cold. That's why, look, I like 350, you know, as my frying oil, you know, my frying temp, but we wanna probably be about 365 even 370. Why? Because when we put this cold chicken in there, you know it's gonna bring that oil down. And then we don't wanna create no soggy, you know, coating. 
right? So all of these are tips for you guys to just say, ah, it's too much trouble, you know, for me to make it, blah, blah, blah. No, it's not, super easy. Just put a little thought into it and have something great. This killing that chicken that y'all buying out there. We just go ahead and get it coated like this. Now, I don't know if you guys can see, but you'll see in just one second, if you can't see it right now, I get myself a baking sheet, put a cooling rack on top of it, right? And then I like to take my flour and get all up in the nooks and crannies, you know? Like if this was a drumstick, I would take it, hold it in my hand like this and squeeze it because this is like a, you know, a wing, you know what I mean? I just kind of like take my time with it. All right, so now what we're getting ready to do is I'm gonna take my tongs, right? My oil is at 370, I just checked it and this is how I know. I know grandma, I know you're gonna be mad at me or whatever, but I tell you, this is how I cook. You taught me how to do it, you gave me the, uh, the, the temperatures, but this is how I ensure. And I know some of y'all out there, y'all done made chicken in the past and you done had that heartbeat when you done tore it off of, the, off of the bone, you know what I mean? So if you're getting in that red, I'm gonna teach you how not to have, to be, you know, to make sure that you don't have them problems. So we put that in there like that. And then I'm gonna show you guys a little trick. For those of you guys of the season, maybe your mama had it when you were growing up, you gotta get yourself one of these splatter guards. You put this over the top right here, and this will keep all your grease off of your counters and keep everything inside the pot. These are a must have, folks. Okay, folks, so look, talk to me. How do you have your fried chicken? Do you do it with green beans and mac? Obviously, I do. So check this out. I'm finna go ahead and just pick myself up a couple of these pieces right here. We finna do a little plating. You know what I mean? Uh, I guess I'll put that there. And you know what? This is for your boy, Uncle A.B. Hey, you remember the triangle? Ah, yeah. I just set him right there. Hey, now we get a chance to go ahead and eat. Okay, folks, now you didn't see me put this on a plate. You know, obviously macaroni, green beans. Listen, check this out. I'm not finna over talk it. We finna open this up right here like that. And you see that right there? Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is what we wanna have. Cheers, y'all. Mm. This is done right. Not overcooked. Now that right there is fire. Now, how did we get there? Listen, we seasoned at every different phase, right? We, feed, we seasoned the wet, we seasoned the dry, we made sure that our oil was at the same temp, right? We, we achieved at 350, actually we would go a little bit higher. We let it come down, it stays at 350. And how do we know? I check it with my meat thermometer, you know what I mean? So that I can maintain that, right? We don't wanna have nothing soggy. And then listen to this. You hear that right there? That's how you have crispy skin and it tastes good. Listen, it really, in my brain, I simplify everything. It's real simple, folks. Let's get back, quit going out and always having to go buy fried chicken. You know what I mean? Uh, we can make it at home. It's super easy with just a little bit of forethought. Now, with that being said, talk to me in the comment section below. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there. Look at that right here. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, check it out. I got my fork and I'm out. Peace.